Good morning. We've been looking at some of the Proverbs in the Bible and the book of Proverbs uh, here at Knock Breda. And I'm going to take you to chapter 11 this morning and verse 2. Proverbs 11, verse 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. Now, often in the Proverbs, we find a contrast being made, and that's the case here, the contrast between pride and humility, two things that are taken up uh, all the way through the Bible. Um, and the uh, proverb says that pr when pride comes, then comes disgrace. So it is reminding us to set aside pride uh, because that can end in ruin. Uh, pride exalts uh, oneself. Uh, pride is usually taken to be the first of the seven deadly sins. And that is because it is the most deadly. It's the one that says to us that we can continue in God's world, but that we don't need God uh, because in our pride, we think we are self-sufficient and able to look after ourselves and promote ourselves and get by well in the world without God. Uh, the opposite of that, of course, is humility, because humility says before God that we're dependent on him. And so if we're to trust in God, that requires humility on our part uh, to put our trust and to put our faith in God, knowing that he provides for us. And these themes are picked up in the New Testament, of course, and we just uh, love to let the New Testament um, interpret what these Old Testament proverbs say. So, for example, in the book of Philippians, where Paul wants to talk about Christ and describes in chapter two, how Christ descended uh, into this world and to death on a cross. Uh, Paul says this has application for us and for the way that we live. Uh, chapter two, verse five, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Christ gives us the example of humility, the sort of humility that leads to wisdom that the proverb describes uh, because he has humbled himself before God and he's humbled himself on our behalf. So humility is very important in the Christian life because it's modeled on the person of Jesus. Another verse that uh, strikes me as appropriate to remember when we think about this particular proverb is in Luke chapter 18, and it's the famous parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. And here's the tax collector who knows that he needs to be put right with God. And he does that through a humble prayer. So having been told about the pride in the Pharisee, as he's in the temple, he prays to God. And, and basically prays about how great he is. He prays uh, in pride. Then the tax collector stands at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So again, there in Jesus' parable, he wants to show us that humility is the Christian way. It begins the Christian life. When you're humble and recognize you're standing before God, that you're a sinner, then you can come before the Lord and ask for his forgiveness, recognizing that he's almighty, that he's willing to forgive, and that he's powerful to forgive. And we humble ourselves in prayer, acknowledging our sinfulness, confessing that, and acknowledging that Jesus is the king who has died for us on the cross. So not uh, pride, but humility. And that resonates with our, our proverb for this morning. Remember Proverbs 11 and verse 2, when pride comes, then comes disgrace. If we find ourselves proud in our hearts, then we won't come to God and that will not end well for us. But with humility comes wisdom. That is the wise way uh, to be humble. When pride comes, then comes disgrace but with humility comes wisdom. Amen.
man. 